back on Once Upon a Time. This is episode 21 of season 4. The finale, folks. Part 1 of the finale. I'm going to get questions about it. I'm going to get questions anyway, even when I do say it. Um, this will be two separate videos. Um, and I'm not doing them back to back. It'll be this first half, which is episode like 21 or 22, depending on how you view the season. Um, both ways are valid. And then we will be doing um, the finale in the next cycle of reactions that I do. So I'm not doing them back to back um, like I did with like, I think season one and two I may have done it. Definitely season two I remember doing it back to back. Don't think I did for season three. It's just, it's basically physically impossible for me to um, do two episodes back to back because um, of like editing and stuff I have to do. My iPad would not cope with that much. Um, data that I used up with two episodes on it so that's the main reason why and why rush this journey you know it's only been like two years and we're over halfway through the show now so I want to kind of savour it and yeah I'm so excited to see how they're going to start wrapping this up and given how the last episode kind of ended off with the author and Gold um, stirring up some trouble I don't know what to expect I don't know what changes they may have made and where you're going to go with it I'm expecting Evil Emma um, at some point, be it in, you know, the end of this season, maybe next season, because um, they've teased it so much, it's inevitable, it's going to happen, it's a TV show, they've teased something, it's going to happen. Um, I just don't know when, how that would come about, exactly what that would mean and entail. But yeah, I'm excited. Uh, Once More Time tends to be pretty good with finales. And I mean, we literally, the last finale, it was like a kind of time travel heavy thing. And then we got Elsa showing up at the end, which kind of was like insane. So what they have in store to wrap up this season and set up next season, I have no idea, but I'm excited. Really enjoyed this arc so far that they've been going with. And yeah, things have really escalated recently. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. Let's get into it. Do we really need color? Ooh. Do we really need color? Oh. <laughs> uh, I see the ABC logo there. A clicker? You don't tell stories people want. Wow. No. He's gonna work here then. Uh, I'm Isaac Heller. Yes, I know who you are. Please. Ah! Okay, this is his origin story, I guess. Maybe. Choose one. Actually, I'm more of an IBM Selectric kind of guy. Choose <laughs> one. Okay. I want to get in on this. I love stationery and pens and shit. What is this? I mean, I take the ball. Some kind of signing bonus? We need to know what kind of writer you really are. A shady one. Come with me, and you'll be. I like that we're seeing like how we got started. Come with me, and you'll be. And then it all went wrong. Tomorrow, thanks to Golden the author, I can wake up a talking frog. <laughs> At least you wake up. I don't doubt whatever the dark one has in store for me is a far worse fate. Oh, shit. There's no use speculating what he wants. We just need to stop it. And if there's nothing useful here, we need to move on. You know it's bleak when everyone's like dressed in black. Just the thing. Hey! I know this man. Oh. Did you? More importantly, I know exactly where to find him. Oh, that's good. I trapped him in there. Oh, yeah. I'd forgotten about that, that was awkward. He's been in there for a while. Imagine how long his beard is now. I know what that's like. To always have dissatisfaction gnawing at you. Watching other people's happiness bloom. It's time for a world where up is down. Why can't Villains people be happy for people? Can have happy endings. What does your ending look like? Castle. If I had my way. Your son, Balefire. Don't toy with me, scribe. Oh. I want my memories of him. The his driving force for goodness how long? Adjustment. I would like a world where I remember doing 
Right. By my boy. Oh. Look at this squad. <laughs> Avengers, assemble! changed except for Henry for some reason well, I don't think this bodes well oh Isaac Hella Hella is right Hella evil no you're not you're right I like how the picture of him has more hair. Bettina, she's my favorite character. She's a real doozy, isn't she? Now listen here, you little shit. What are you doing here? What did you do with my family? Where are they? I'm nothing more than a best-selling writer with legions of fans and a penthouse over Central Park. Just wait, you'll get cancelled soon enough. Give me the book and I will. Oh! Well that's a plan. Is he gonna have to like make everyone remember? Like he tried to make Emma remember in season one? That'd be kinda cool. I'm glad Henry's getting so much focus already. Oh! Fuck you. With the loud tolling of bells at sunset, when you hear that sound, it'll mean we've reached the last page. The book will end and everything will remain exactly how I wrote it. Well, that's handy. Ooh. There we are. Right on time. Well, you don't look like Shrek. Oh. <gasps> Is this going to be Emma? To repay you. Good deeds have their own reward. This comes with no promise. Oh, shut up. That feels so incredibly wrong. <laughs> So we kind of have like evil Snow White, evil Prince Charming, stuff like that. What do you? What do you want? Oh my God, she's like Snow I'm White. Henry. And I'm your son. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's like on, when he first went to Emma in the pilot. Please. I should have remembered. I wrote the book, The Ogre Slayer. You idiot. You working for the no, I'm trying Season to... 1 he was like trying to convince his mum that all these storybook characters have been brought into the real world. Now it's kind of the opposite. Which is cool. It can see my future? Something like that. And I don't want any part of it. Oh my goodness. Well that's going to be a super helpful page hopefully. True love's kiss, it can fix anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. You are crazy. If I ever meet Robin in person, the only thing he gets is a broken nose. Uh oh. I love how this Virginia is so different. But when she's like close to someone's face, it's like so old Regina. She thinks I ruined her life. The Queen's Snow White. Henry! You go? Oh yeah, he's going to come out if he hears you come calling on. for him. I can help you. <laughs> Should have read your book, dick. Feast on him. Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Kill him! No. Oh, 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 oh. Then kill him. Oh boy. It must be fun for them to play though. Switch characters like that. Well, I'm on your side. Technically you're at my feet. We want the same thing. To keep everything in this realm exactly how it is with you in charge. A boy. Well, there's two new people in it now. It's a bit different. A hero. No need to yell, Snow. Oh. I will always find you. <laughs> you will always find you Jesus. Up. You had a twin brother, James. He was the one Snow truly loved. Before the tragedy. Oh. I want you to kill them both. This guy sucks. 
Charming dishonor. Oh. That was extra. Your Majesty, before you rip her heart out, perhaps you should ask her about the boy. Uh oh. Oh! Yes! They can team up, they can fall in love. New friends and old rivals. Make out. What is it? Someone whose eyes you just knew. You were born to gaze into. Um. That wouldn't be fair to my new bride. Oh, uh, if this is fucking Zelina. Bride? I swear to Jesus. Well, she will be when we marry later today. Hello, darling. <laughs> so who's this? Dr. Regina, I'd like you to meet my fiance. <laughs> this is Selena. Yes, I know. Good God. I just can't believe I'm finally meeting the bandit, Regina. I can't believe it either. I must say I am here for Regina. Congratulations again. In all this. Yeah, you know. You know! It'd be a very different story if I was the author. <sighs> Stop it! No, 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 this is all wrong. That's Agreed. Your sister. I'll never have true love. Ooh. From the end of the book, that's what he was talking about. Uh, this wedding. The wedding, yeah. It's she was called the Savior. Never heard of her. Oh. Mom, you know something. No, I know that thing. Snow White locked her up years ago. No oh one no. Has set eyes on her since. That was me when Zelina showed up. Oh, I guess that's part one. Okay. Very, very good first half to the finale. Uh. They really like, I think, the finale, really changing things up and showing like different versions of characters, parallel worlds and stuff like that. Um, and I guess when you include the author in this season and that whole kind of idea of wanting the villains to get happy endings, it's kind of the perfect thing to kind of show that. You know, if you're going to tease it all this time of the villains potentially getting their happy endings, of course you're going to want to see what that looks like. So I really like that kind of idea of Isaac, you know, seeing his origins at the start was really fun to see how he kind of got the job, I guess. Um, and obviously as time went on, he went on to kind of abuse that kind of power that he was given. And now he's given himself this happy ending, um, successful author. All the other characters are trapped inside the storybook. Um, I really like that kind of concept. And the fact that Henry wasn't affected by it because um, he didn't come from like this magical land or anything. And... He can kind of be the saviour in his own right, kind of follow in Emma's footsteps in that sense, which I love. Um, I really did enjoy the focus on Henry, and we know I love Henry, we know he's like my favourite. And he hasn't gotten a ton of focus, I think, um, this season as a whole, probably, but some episodes he obviously had some big roles in, and Lately, for sure, he hasn't been, like, front and centre, so I'm glad they kind of put him in the centre of this story, and he's kind of a big part of, um, hopefully saving things and fixing things, because he knows the truth, and he's kind of potentially need to convince, um, you know, his mother that all these, you know, people were kind of taken and pulled into a storybook, which is kind of the opposite of what he had to convince Emma of in season one, so I kind of like that parallels, um how they've switched lots of different stories around. So, you know, Snow White is now like the evil queen in this world and Regina's kind of like the hero. Uh, her, you know, Snow White's true love was Prince Charming's twin. I like how they kind of brought that idea into it, um, continue to make use of it. So, you know, they didn't necessarily set up a lot of things that they could explore in this one, you know, way back in season one or whatever, when they did like the shepherd kind of twist with like the twin. Um, but they can use the show's history and I think having stories like this it's a real reward for the fans who have kind of been watching since season one so they can really enjoy all these twists and turns and pick up on these different things um, just kind of a bit of fun mess up the continuity and I'm sure they're going to fix it in some way um, 
but you can just enjoy the ride. And I, I really do like that kind of concept. And I get it with Henry not being around much. Cause obviously, I'm sure Jared had like school, college, all that education stuff. He needed to, you know, really focus on. That's the thing with having, you know, child actors feature so prominently in shows. They can't always be around because, you know, they need to put their education first, and they should. Um, so that's why I never get especially angry when Henry's not around a lot or not in episodes very much because I get it. Um, but it was nice to get, you know, Henry kind of front and center, especially when it's like the end of the season and he was kind of a real kickstarter for the whole find the author thing when he agreed to help Regina find him. Um, so the fact that, you know, they found him now, it all has kind of played out the way it has. And, um, he can hopefully now be instrumental in saving Emma, I guess. Um, maybe getting Regina involved in that would be cool. But I think one of the biggest successes of this episode was the world building. Um, when they reintroduced like the this new enchanted forest with Mr. Gold being like this super knight hero thing that everyone loves. Um, he's kind of like a hero now and all the other kind of stuff along the way. Robin being like a competitor for Regina, he's getting married to Zelina, of course. Um, and we haven't seen where Hook is in this new world, and he feared that they killed, they would just kill him because obviously Gold was involved in writing the story. Don't know if that's going to be the case, or they're going to find something else for him later on down the line. You know, where is like Maleficent, um, Lily, you know, Granny stuff like that? We haven't seen a lot of those and the characters where we, you know we had the dwarves and stuff, so you know where they are kind of about. But outside of that, um, there's still, I feel like, a few more surprises to come in terms of what the characters we know and love are in this world, like Belle as well. We don't know where she's at. Um, Will, Scarlet, you know, is he in the very main? Is he somewhere else? It's... Just knocked my book of notes. So I'm just going to casually grab that, pretend I'm super cool. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that kind of world building that they had going on. Now I need to find the page again. Where on earth is that? Oh, I'm so professional, so organised, so good at these afterthoughts. Um, there we go. Uh, it doesn't really matter anyway, because I kind of already discussed all the characters I wanted to talk about. But yeah, um, I really enjoyed that kind of world building going on. The fact that we still have another episode set in this world, presumably. Um, I'm excited to see the twist and turn. It's always kind of a fun thing, even for the actors, I think, to change up their characters a bit in this way. And how this is going to like tie up this season, how they're going to get out of this and potentially set up next season, I don't really know yet. Um, but that's good. You know, when season four started, you know, I never would have predicted this is be where we'd end up as we head into the last episode. So that's really, really exciting. Um, and yeah, The Apprentice came back into it as well. So he was kind of trying to help out, you know, where's he now? Um, we even had August very briefly. I wasn't expecting him to kind of pop up. It was obviously a very quick kind of thing. And this pointed him in the direct, you know, pointing them all in the direction of the apprentice. Um, and then, even then, you know, that tied back to Hook trapping him in the hat way back when, earlier in the season. I think that was in the first half of the season uh, when Gold was kind of controlling. I completely forgotten he'd done that. So the fact that they could bring that back again, the seed's been sowed there. So it's very cleverly done. Um, so they could bring him back into the action in that way. Um, so that was great. And where. Is August going to be in this new world? Or is he just, just brought him back for that? I feel bad for, you know, Pinocchio's dad. The fact that his little boy is kind of older again now. He's kind of lost that second chance all over again with him um, to raise him the way he wanted to. Um, and we never even see them really explore that. It could have been a really interesting story that they explored, but yeah, maybe the actor wasn't available. Or maybe they just never planned on doing that, which is fine. You know, they have to do what they want to do. But still, it's cool to see August pop up. Um, you see evil, broody, charming, and evil, Snow White. Cool, like, costume design and stuff in this episode, particularly. Um, the idea of the saviour, and Emma's kind of locked away now. Um, so how does that tie into things? You know, is... I take it Emma's not actually Snow White and Prince Charming's daughter in this kind of universe. So how does that kind of work out? You know, who are her parents? Where did this saviour woman even come from? Is that kind of a mystery? I liked Henry initially using the book as like a guide to like navigate past all the different traps and stuff. Then Regina was like, yeet, and threw it into the fire. Bit annoying, but never mind. Um, he did 
Hemi did salvage one page in it, so I'm sure that's going to come back into play. I imagine at some point it's going to be like the one page he definitely needed to keep. So we'll see what happens with that, if anything does happen with that. Um, so yeah, lots of really interesting stuff there. And clearly Robin, Regina, still meant to be in any universe. We love it. Um, and the fact that they could set up a dramatic kind of ending, you know, the, the wedding bells for Robin and Zelina is kind of the end point. I liked that. Seeing Isaac as a successful author um, in, you know, this new kind of timeline, stuff like that. All these like adoring fans, like people like dressed up, like cosplaying, stuff like that. That woman who kind of came up to him was like, oh, Regina's my favourite. Can you tell me what happens next? I feel like that was kind of a representation of some of the Once Upon a Time fandom, um, which I thought was kind of a neat little thing that they did. Um, so yeah, lots of really fascinating stuff. Again, I don't exactly know where they're going to go with all this yet because it's just the first half of the finale, but world building wise, it was excellent. Um, I loved seeing the different kind of twists on the characters we know and love. I liked that Henry was kind of front and center of this story and even Isaac had quite a lot to do as well. And I feel like he'd been a bit underused this season. So the fact that he had such a presence in this was great as well. Um, excited to see how they may wrap up his story. I feel like he's not going to be, you know, surviving season four or at least he's not gonna be a big part of the story after this season um so we'll see how that kind of all goes um hopefully we'll see the other like main cast members and stuff we haven't seen in this new world yet in the next episode to see what they're kind of like and where on earth they could go with like fixing this and you know, is it going to cost something crazy? How are they going to set up season five? If they set up season five, maybe they'll just wrap it up neatly. And then there's some brand new start next season. I don't know. But this was an awesome kind of first half. Really, really great. Um, engaging right from the off. Pacing wise, I thought it was excellent. And yeah, very, very excited to see where they're going to take it. I don't feel like I'm desperate. I'm like, oh, I need to watch the next part now. I don't feel that, which is probably a good thing because I am going to be waiting to watch the next half. Um, but I don't think that's a detriment because this was kind of the setup, slow burny kind of first half. And I think it absolutely succeeded in that. So awesome, awesome episode. Can't wait to see where they're going to take this in the finale. Hopefully do a bit of setup for season five. And yeah, season four has been really, really good. And I'm excited for it to hopefully go out with quite the bang. We'll see. But yeah, as long as they stop Robin and Selena getting married, that's all I need. <laughs> so good stuff. Really excited to um, see season four come to an end. And yeah, until my next reaction, thanks for watching.